Welcome to TV8's newest segment. It's called Adventures in Coaching, and it's here to help you grow personally and professionally. And we've got Kim Smith, the expert, joining us. Kim, thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here and talk to you about all of this. I'm excited to have you here only because I think powerful women are my most favorite thing. And you are definitely a force to be reckoned with oh. here in our community. So I'm very excited to have thank you. Thank you. Now, let's just dive right into it because we've got a lot of things that we're mm -hmm. going to cover over the expansion of some time here on the couch. And so my first question is, what is coaching? That is a great question, Maddie. And, you know, a lot of people, I think, are confused a little bit about that. And I just want to clarify that what it's not. It's not therapy. It's not advice. And it's not sports coaching, although we do take a lot of things from sports coaching. In other words, really trying to push you beyond maybe your limits and to set goals and to hold you accountable to you know, what you decide is important to you. Which I think a lot of people in certain areas start to struggle mm -hmm. with. And so what is your story and how did you get into coaching? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question also. You know, for me, um, it really came naturally. I was always, um, even as a, as a young person, really trying to help people and interested in helping you know, them improve their lives. And uh, I had a long career in marketing and sales. And I worked in, um, on the agency side of things and in the snow sports industry and then in tourism. And all the while I had this like small voice in my head that kept saying, you know, you really want to help people more. How do you get out there and do that? And you know, while I was loving my career and I had climbed the ladder, so to speak, and um, had a lot of accomplishments, uh, there were there were things that just started to you know resonate with me outside of those careers. And really, getting into helping people was one of those things that just kept bubbling up and saying, you know, why don't you go ahead and take a leap of faith and do this? And so I finally decided to leave my uh, career and get certified in coaching. And I had a couple of iterations as I went through all of that. And I'm now doing that full time and I'm absolutely loving it. And it's really where I get, you know, my joy and my purpose is around helping others uh, to really reach their potential. Which is so cool because you hear of these people that are empaths and they spend their time filling other people's cup in order to fill their own cup. And it sounds like you get the pleasure of doing that in your career. And because you spent so much yeah. time in this corporate world, you also have this kind of mindset of how you can help people grow professionally. Exactly, exactly. And um, yes, it does fill my cup helping others and seeing their process and witnessing change and helping to empower people and enable people to do that is, is just huge. And um, I really focus on people working on their careers and with leaders within bus businesses and teams within businesses themselves and um, working with trying to really identify you know, what that person's pur purpose is or a team purpose and finding out the ways uh, to get there as well as removing roadblocks that might be getting in the way of their success. I think it's so important that people take the time to realize that they need that little bit of extra motivation and this coaching is something that can help them successfully push themselves through that almost like writer's block that we come across in our lives and in our mm -hmm. careers. And so you've been doing this for quite some time. What are some of the challenges that you've heard clients complain about? And that's, yeah, I love, I love what you said, that analogy. Um, you know, people come to me because they are maybe feeling stuck in, in what they want to do. Uh, maybe they've had an idea germinating in their head for a long time. They just don't know how to get it from here to, you know, there and then move it forward. Uh, and I think that's pretty normal. A lot of us have ideas and think like, oh, I want to do this. I want to work on my career. I maybe want to go into an entrepreneurial business. Um, how do I get there? And rather than just continually, you know, ruminating about it, a coach will really help you pull that out, figure out what's important, how do we take those next steps, and what do those look like, and then how can you hold yourself accountable? And a coach will help hold you accountable to those goals that you've set up. Which I think is something that so many people lack the discipline mm -hmm. of taking the things from their brain, putting them on paper, and then executing them. Yeah. I know that I really struggle with that in certain areas of my life. Mm -hmm. And so just to have that little bit of extra motivation helps so much. Now, as people are starting to kind of get a coach and work through these processes, what are some of the things that they can expect from the coach? So first of all, I really, you know, I'll do an intake, so to speak, to, you know, or discovery, whatever we want to call it, but looking at, you know, what is going on and where do you think you want to go? 
And oftentimes what happens through the process is we find out that what you think you might want to do isn't really aligned with your purpose and what you, you know, what will really make you successful. So I'll usually take a step back at that point and look at, you know, what is that person's purpose? Have they ever dis decided what that is? Or have they ever clarified that for themselves? Because that can be your foundation. And we'll go into purpose a little bit more in another segment. But that's really, I like to start there and kind of dig around. And, you know, I was saying that, you know, it's, it's not so much about looking at your past, but oftentimes there are things in our past that are holding us back from success. Maybe, you know, we don't really know why they're there or they're a limiting belief. You might have heard that term, limiting beliefs, or yes. little gremlins that are saying, oh, I'm not good enough, or I've got self-doubt around this. Those mean voices in your head that sometimes <laughs> you got to work towards right. shutting off. Yeah, and so those come up inevitably with everybody I work with. And so we do take a look at that and try to, you know, create the courage to walk through a lot of those fears or, you know, real or maybe they're made up fears. Maybe something really did happen in the past that we need to look at. But whatever it is, that's always been a part of or that will be a part of the conversation. Now, as people are starting to get interested in getting a coach, what's the time frame like when you guys start working together to when you can kind of execute this plan to move mm -hmm. forward? I like to say that about a nine-week um, session or you know group of sessions is where you really start to see progress. So if somebody says, oh, I'm going to go to a coach one or two times, oh, it didn't work, I'm moving on. It's like you've got to give it some time because more and more things will be revealed as you're working through things. It's not just a one and done. Um, that being said, I don't look at coaching as, you know, like sometimes therapists, you know, work with somebody for years and years. This is more short, short term. We want to try to get those results and move you forward quickly. And seeing a coach is like dating someone. You can't just go on two <laughs> dates and be like, this isn't for me. You have to spend right. some time to get to know them yeah. because you do have to mm -hmm. set those boundaries and really learn each other and how you guys work well with each other. It's like forming a whole new relationship. It really is, it really is. And it's amazing, you know, like the first time people tend to really not want to talk too much or they don't know what to talk about, but that's my job to start really pulling that out of the person, make them feel comfortable and figure out, you know, where they really want to go and why. Now, as you are bringing in new clients, who is it that you work with? So I really work, I call myself a career and business success coach. So I work with people that are working on their careers, looking to make change. Maybe there's a transition that they want to go to another business and they don't know what that industry is or they want to grow within their own um, organization. And I also work with businesses that are, you know, maybe they have leaders inside the organization that, you know, they would like to have coached. Um, as well as teams to develop synergy amongst that team to be able to move that team forward based on their purpose and their, you know, their goals and desires. So, Which I think is so cool. It's like having one of those group projects in school where maybe someone feels like they have to pull a majority of the weight. To have someone like you come in and then delegate mm -hmm. a little bit more right. clearly and bring that team together to mm -hmm. work better together so that everything just can start to roll forward is really cool. Now, as you're kind of coaching these teams, do you feel like you ever have any challenges with a larger group of people? Oh, absolutely. Because there's always like, you know, one or two people that are like, why am I here? I don't want to be here. And, you know, they've got their body language, arms crossed, and they're not sure that, you know, why they're there. And, you know, I can, when, when I'm working with groups or teams, I will coach people individually, um, you know, with the whole team. And sometimes I'll just have to pull them aside and say, you know, hey, what's going on for you? And, you know, I really try to meet people where they are at and figure out what's going on for them. Because ideally with a team, you know, you want to get everybody on the same page. Uh, but yeah, there's people that we're humans, right? We're right. going to bring our stuff, everything that we have from our whole life into work, into our business. So, yeah. I mean, I think what you do is so incredible, and I also think that it's always those people that you see that are so closed off that eventually come around, and they're the mm -hmm. ones who benefit the most because yeah. you totally change their perspectives on from where they started to where they are in your sessions. Right, and I think that's a really good point there because coaching, a lot of it is about reframing a situation, and instead of being like, you know, oh, poor me, this has happened, or I'm not happy with this, or whatever, Looking at it from different points of view can help you look at the opportunity versus the problem. 
which I think that perspective shift mm -hmm. is probably one of the largest benefits from getting a coach. And so now as we're talking about benefits of coaching, yeah. what are some of the other ones that people can expect from kind of going through this tribulation with you? Um, I would definitely say, you know, determining what your purpose is, you know, your why, your reason for being, um, finding out like what it is that you want to do and, you know, how can you bring that purpose into your workplace or into your life? You know, and it's, it's really, um, you know, a, a matter of kind of going through some of those things, but also uh, getting results. I mean, ultimately, coaching is about getting results and taking action, moving you forward and holding you accountable. So I can't, you know, everybody's journey is different. That's why I call it adventures in coaching. It's an adventure, you know, there's never a straight line from like what you think is in here to your final goal. You're always gonna be zigzagging and finding different ways. And I think some people think that it's like, oh, one straight shot, but it's important to know that, you know, it does take some time and to give yourself permission to you know, explore a little bit over here if you think that that's interesting, or maybe this didn't work out exactly as you thought, so what is it, and how do we get back on track? I think these are all such great benefits that people mm -hmm. could really use in their day-to-day -day life, but also in their personal and professional development. Now, we're going to do a few of these sessions, so what other things can we expect from Adventures in Coaching? Um, so coming up next is going to be, we're going to be talking about purpose and mission and why that's so important. Um, I'll be talking about leadership skills, you know, women in business and the challenges that women have in business. Um, you know, some things around communication, emotional intelligence, um, and just, you know, figuring out like how to set goals and how do you really hold yourself accountable to those goals. So those are just a few of the things we'll be talking about. Kim, I'm so excited to continue to spend time with you so I can keep learning from you just from sitting here. I think what you do is so incredible. And like Thank I said you. earlier, I think you are a force to be reckoned Aww. with. Thank you. It's fantastic to be here. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you continue to stay tuned as we are going to continue our adventures in coaching only because we're here to help you with your personal and your professional development. We're going to take a short break and when we come back we've got more of the show so stay tuned. <laughs>